Uh, man. Who, who, what dad, what father would make a storyline like this? Fair use. You know what, dad? I'm sorry. What do you mean? I'm sorry that all my life I've let you manipulate me and use me. All my life just to be the apple of my daddy's eye. I'm having a little fun here. Every time that you have ever, every time I went out to dinner with one of your business associates, I was 17 years old. You don't think they told me what you promised them I'd do? And guess what, Dad? I did it. I did it for you, the things I did with them, and I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself that I'm just like you. And I'm not going to let you do that to Zach Gowan. Why do I care so much about Zach Gowan? Maybe because he's my last bastion of hope. Maybe because he's the last thing that can possibly save myself. But I'm not going to let you do it to him, Dad. And if that means that you're going to fire me, then fine. Fire me. Fire me, Dad. And then maybe you'll lose the one person who ever cared about you. The only one person that wanted to be just like you, me. Maybe I just won't care about you anymore. <sighs> <clears throat> or this. It's almost as if, it's almost as if I, even though I didn't, it's almost as if I personally deflowered you. What? It's almost as if, it's almost as if I, even though I didn't, it's almost as if I personally deflowered you. And even though, since you're just like me, even though you, you may be able to forgive me, and I, and I hope you can, I'll never forgive myself for what I did. I, I, I don't care if this is a skit. You, no, no, no. That, that, nah, just, just no. Let's get on to the news or the news video about this. Fair use. Tonight, one of the biggest names in professional wrestling <laughs> facing stunning new accusations, including sex trafficking over several years. A former employee accusing WWE founder and former CEO Vince McMahon of physical and emotional abuse, sexual assault, and trafficking at WWE. In the lawsuit, Janelle Grant, who worked there up until March 2022, says McMahon texted her, quote, I'm the only one who owns you and controls who I want to expletive you. Grant's claims include sexual acts involving defecation, restraint, and aggressive use of sex toys, and that McMahon forced her to have sex with him and other men at the WWE headquarters in return for job security. The new lawsuit seeks to annul a non-disclosure agreement from 2022, settled between Grant and McMahon, where she would receive $3 million. Grant says she stopped receiving payments after an initial $1 million payout. If, as alleged, McMahon stopped making those payments, she might have a breach of contract claim. But that's not what she's really alleging in the complaint. She's alleging violations of federal human trafficking law. In a statement, Vince McMahon's spokesperson says this lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene, made-up instances that never occurred, and a vindictive distortion of the truth. He will vigorously defend himself. Last year, McMahon, who has not been criminally charged, what spoke to CNBC you? in broad terms about his overall legacy. Let me just say that I've made mistakes, obviously, you know, both personally and professionally through my 50-year career. I've owned up to every single one of them and then moved on. The explosive lawsuit and graphic allegations come at a critical time for the WWE. Just this week, McMahon was at the New York Stock Exchange celebrating their newest board member, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Also, Netflix just acquiring WWE's streaming rights worth billions of dollars. 
But now, all eyes on the WWE, who the plaintiff's attorney says they will hold accountable, claiming they turned a blind eye to the abuse and then swept it under the rug. She took payments? Why is it... <clears throat> why is it when he first brought this to you, you didn't leave the company? That's what I want to know. Vince McMahon accused of sex trafficking by WWE staffer he paid to keep quiet. <sighs> Janelle Grant files lawsuit saying McMahon pressured her into sex with him and other men at wrestling business, raising questions about the 2022 board probe into CEO payouts. A woman who received a payout from the WWE boss, Vince McMahon, has accused McMahon the company and a former executive of sex trafficking in a new lawsuit that raises questions about the breadth of the internal company probe conducted by a law firm last year. Janelle Grant, a former employee at the wrestling firm's headquarters, said in a lawsuit filed Thursday that she was abused and sexually exploited by McMahon while he was chief executive. She alleged that McMahon lured her with promises of a career advancement, and then he allegedly exploited her and trafficked her to other men inside the company. My thing is, when he first brought that to you, why didn't you leave and just call the police and have a lawsuit set up? <clears throat> See, my thing is like, you know, I, I'm not victim blaming. But my thing is this, right? Um, you put up with this for career advancements. You sold your body for career advancement. You couldn't take the road of, I'm going to leave. And I don't care if I have to work a job that's below uh, uh, my pay grade. I'll keep my dignity. Because right now it's like you accepted cash payments to keep quiet instead of go. You should have quit. <clears throat> Grant signed a non-disclosure agreement in 2022 in which McMahon agreed to pay three million for her to not discuss their relationship or or to disparage him. The WWE received an anonymous tip in 2022 about the relationship and started a board a board investigation, which uncovered other payments by the CEO to women. Grant's lawsuit said McMahon stopped making payments under the 2022 deal after the initial $1 million installment. The suit seeks to avoid the agreement and unspecified financial damages. This lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene, made-up instances that never occurred, and a vindictive distortion of the truth. The spokesman for McMahon said he will vigorously defend himself. TKO Entertainment, a giant that was recently formed by a merger of the WWE and the UFC Mixed Martial Arts League, said in a statement, while this matter predates our TKO executive team's tenure at the company, we take Ms. Grant's horrific allegations very seriously and addressing this matter in Internally, Jerry McDevitt, McMahon's attorney at the time, said in 2022 that the woman whose name wasn't yet publicly wasn't yet public had made hasn't made any allegations of harassment in a statement when the Wall Street Journal first reported on McMahon's three million dollar settlement. WWE said that the relationship was consensual and that it was taken taken seriously. The allegations McMahon had engaged in misconduct. A man briefly retired from the WWE in July of 2022, following the reportedly reporting by the journal that revealed payouts by two multiple women who had alleged sexual misconduct. The journal reported that the board's independent directors had retained law firm Simpson, Thatcher, and Bartlett to conduct an investigation. Simpson, Thatcher's investigation found $14.6 in payouts by the CEO to women who had accused him of sexual misconduct that should have been booked as a business expenses. In November of 2022, WWE said the board investigation was completed and the company restated past securities filings. McMahon repaid the company for the cost of the investigation and returned soon after. 
The lawsuit complicates the legal picture around 78 year old McMahon. Federal prosecutors have been investigating the payouts. And in the July of 2023, agents execute, executed a search warrant for McMahon's phone and searched him with a grand jury subpoena. No charges have been brought. Throughout this experience, I've always denied any intentional wrongdoing and continue to do so. McMahon said in 2023 about the federal probe. I'm confident that the government's investigation will be resolved without any findings of wrongdoing. Let's talk about these locked office doors. A lawsuit filed in the Connecticut federal court describes in graphic detail Grant's account of interactions with the businessman and TV personnel. She alleged that McMahon and other WWE executives locked her in an office in WWE headquarters in Stanford, Connecticut on June 15, 2021, and took turns sexually assaulting her while other staffers were working. In the middle of another work day on June 23rd, 2021, McMahon locked Grant inside his private lock room at WWE's offices and forced himself on her over a massage table, the suite said. Later that day, McMahon's personal assistant delivered 15,000 in Bloomingdale's gift cards to Grant in her office. The suite also the suite, I'm sorry, the suit also includes screenshots of explicit text messages that McMahon allegedly sent to Grant on May 2020. Message said, I'm the only one who owns you and controls you and who wants to, you know what. Grant alleged alleged that McMahon shared nude photos and explicit videos of her without consent with other WWE employees, unnamed executives and stars, and directed her to have sex with them. The suit cited on July 2020 text that said others at WWE wanted to have sex with her after seeing photos of, photos on McMahon's phone and the group laughed when he told them. She may scream and try to say no, although it would be difficult to say anything with a down her throat. Grant alleged that the board investigation was a sham. She wasn't interviewed by the board's special committee and it didn't request documents, even though she said she would cooperate, the lawsuit said. It alleged that the company diverted attention away from McMahon's abuse by focusing on the accounting for the payouts. Others at the WWE knew about McMahon's conduct and but worked to conceal the wrongdoing, according to the lawsuit. <clears throat> Jeff Speed, a former WWE board member who co-led the board's investigation, said Thursday that he remained confident in the investigation, which included outreach to Grant and engaged an engagement with her lawyer. He highlighted that McMahon left the company during the investigation while recognizing the horrific nature of the allegations in today's lawsuit. I am not at liberty to comment on what was and what was not learned during our investigation, Speed said in a statement. McMahon, who was the controlling shareholder of WWE, returned to WWE in early 2023, elected himself to the board and replaced several directors. Upon his return, he negotiated a sale of WWE and Endeavor, to Endeavor Corp., owner of the UFC. The deal created TKO Group and gave WWE an ex enterprise value of nine, $9.3 billion. McMahon is now an executive chairman and ma major shareholder of TKO. This week, Netflix bought the rights to WWE Raw and other WWE shows in a deal valued at more than five billion. McMahon celebrated by ringing the opening bell with other TKO executives at the New York Stock Exchange. In its statement, TKO said McMahon doesn't control TKO, nor does he oversee day-to-day -day operations of the WWE. Shares to TKO slipped less than slipped less than one percent in Thursday's training. Ann Callis, a lawyer for Grant, said the WWE was well aware of McMahon's history of depraved behavior, and it's time that he take personal responsibility for the misconduct of his leadership. She said her client hopes the lawsuit will prevent other women from being victimized. Uh, I do not, I'm not looking past what has happened to her at all. But my thing is this, that once again, all this could have been avoided if she just left. The minute he started um, becoming a creep, she should have ran for the hills instead of taking payments. So that makes her look bad. Grant's lawsuit alleges that she met McMahon in March 2019 after an introduction from a manager in her apartment building. Why are you having business in your apartment building? McMahon lived in the penthouse of the same building, and Grant was looking for a job after her parents had died. 
when they met, McMahon allegedly made promises of a job at WWE and showered Grant with gifts. During a meeting that was supposed to be about the job, he greeted her with his in his underwear and repeatedly asked for hugs. Then the suit said he pressured her to into sexual activities in return for employment and warned her to stay quiet about their interactions. Why didn't you call the cops? Grant being working began working in June 2019 as an administrative coordinator, a position McMahon created for her in the WWE's legal department. She said she expressed concerns that the job felt unearned, but McMahon told her that she needed to do what what was not what she needed to do was not tell anyone and that it just looked legit. Colleagues complained about the overflowing inboxes, but Grant had little had little work. Meanwhile, McMahon allegedly sent her sexually explicit messages and his sexual demands increased. He forcefully used sex toys on her, including dildos he named after WWE wrestlers, causing bruises and bleeding, the suit said. Grant alleged that she complained to McMahon and made attempts to end the relationship. Why are you relationship with this man? This is really not looking good for her. Again, I'm not downplaying what happened to her, but everything is saying here that I needed a sugar daddy and it didn't go the way I wanted it. <coughs> but I endured but I endured it to have the life I wanted. In March 2020, McMahon began sharing sexually explicit photos and videos of Grant with other men, including other WWE executives and former UFC heavyweight champions with whom WWE was actively trying to sign into a new contract, according to the suit. In a May 2020 encounter, McMahon defecated on her head during a threesome. The, suite said, the, um, the suit said her mental and physical health deteriorated so badly that McMahon sent, sent her in November to a celebrity doctor for sessions at an alternative clinic where she never received any receipts or bills. McMahon also paid 20000 to a surgeon on her behalf, the suit said. The suit said McMahon recruited people to have sex with Grant, as well as including WWE's former head of talent relations, John Laranatis, who is named as a defendant in the suit. McMahon directed her to visit Laranatis at his hotel room where she had sex with Laranatis prior to the start of the working days, the suit alleged. I've left that hotel feeling bad about myself every time, Grant told McMahon. In May 2021, McMahon allegedly told Grant that her presence in the legal department was holding up the hiring of a new general counsel for the company and thus transferred her to the talent relations department, reporting to Laranatis. McMahon and Laranatis started, started her in a lower level position, but promised that she would soon be promoted to vice president, the suit said. McMahon controlled her professional and personal lives and subjected her to degradation, according to the suit. In June 2021, according encounter, um, I'm sorry, in the June 21 encounter inside the WWE office, the suit said that McMahon and Laranatis forced themselves on her, took turns restraining her for, for the other, while saying no means yes and take it, you know what. Laranatis, a former wrestler known as Johnny Ace and longtime WWE executive left the company in 2022. Laranatis hasn't publicly commented on his departure. Laranatis didn't respond Thursday to request for comment. Okay, WWE superstar. In July 2021, the suit said that McMahon instructed Grant to create personal personalized sexual content for the WWE superstar that he was trying to resign. The suit didn't name the professional wrestler, but described him as both UFC and WWE talent. People familiar with the matter identified the wrestler as Brock Lesnar, one of the WWE's biggest names. Lesnar didn't respond Thursday to request for comment. The suit said McMahon shared explicit photos with the star and informed Grant that he likes what he sees. After the star agreed to a new WWE contract, McMahon texted Grant in August 21 to say that part of the deal was wow was having sex with her the, that december mcmahon gave grant personal cell phone number to wwe star the lawsuit said the wrestler asked her to send a video of her self urinating the suit said and after she did he called her a female dog that same month the suit said the star expressed a desire to set a play date 
but a snowstorm disrupted his traveling plans. In January 2022, the suit said McMahon told Grant that his wife, Linda McMahon, had discovered their relationship and had pressured Grant to sign an NDA in exchange for payments. The CEO warned Grant of reputation ruin that included pornographic content he had of her. He paid her about $1 million in February, the suit said, and later stopped making the payments. After Grant signed an NDA, McMahon continued to the abuse according to the suit. It alleged that he forced Grant to perform oral sex on him the last time they met and then attempted to traffic her to the WWE star in March 2022. She texted the star explicit photos as directed by McMahon, but they didn't meet, the suit said. The lawsuit seeks a judgment that the NDA is invalid under state and federal law and compensatory and punitive damages under the other laws, including the Trafficking Victims Protection Act. I don't, I don't, this is crazy, man. This is insane. And I'm sorry, sometimes I do. I, <clears throat> all this for money, all this for money. All right. And I don't know what it is with these wrestlers. They don't have brains. They can't think for themselves and think. That if I go do if I do this, it's gonna bite me in the backside one day. A lot of people are gonna say you're victim blaming. Look, I'm sorry. Your parents died. Okay, I feel bad for you. But this man comes along and says he wants to help, and he comes in his underwear. You should have called the police. This could have easily been avoided. If you just cut ties with this man and just cut him off, sued him, and it would have been over. But instead, you wanted the money. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Later.